Hey everyone, this is Charles here at eTrailer.com and today we're going to be taking a look at Rocky Mount's monorail for two bikes for two inch hitches on a 2021 Ford Bronco. This is a platform style bike rack so the bike is going to sit flat instead of hanging and we do recommend these for the carbon frame style bikes so it's not going to damage the frame. They are being held down by the two wheels and that is a great reason to get this for the carbon style frames. One of the awesome features about this bike rack is it does have a tilt-away feature, which makes it perfect for cars, trucks, SUVs, and vans so that you can access the trunk. Something about the Ford Bronco you have to keep in mind is that this bike rack will be in the way for when you swing open the trunk. So if you are going on trips, make sure that you have everything loaded into the Bronco before you install the bike mount. To simply remove the bike, press the button, get that out of the way. I'm going to keep one hand on the bike, pull that up, push it out of the way, get the bike off and you're good to go. So this bike rack has blue highlighted buttons on every feature that you operate and another amazing feature is that it has a 60 pound per bike weight capacity so 120 pounds total. It does have grooves for the carbon frame style bikes, but it also is wide enough for your fat tire bikes. And it does have, it does come with this large enough straps to go over your fat tire bikes, which you don't have to pay anything extra for. Another great feature about this back wheel cradle is that it can oscillate to accept a wheelbase of up to 48 inches. So this bike mount is on a draw tight hitch, which extends out further to accommodate for the spare tire. Just something to keep in mind when you're doing your measurements. So it sticks out about 41 inches. And from the ground up to the handle is about 23 inches. So not only does this bike rack have a tilt away function, you can also fold it up for more storage space. When you're parking at the trailhead, you can take your bike out, fold it, and you just have more room to park. So this is a 33 inch tire and just note how snug it fits here. So if you did have the Sasquatch package, you would not be able to use this bike mount. And with this bike mount now folded, it sticks out to about 20 inches from the shank. Moving down here, we have the anti-rattle bolts and they are gonna be keyed alike. And make sure that the shank has no wiggle room and that the unit and the vehicle move as one to reduce the shake on your bikes. So this is the cable locking post. Again, it's gonna be key to like to the anti-rattle pin and it's gonna allow you to secure your bikes to the rack and your rack to the vehicle, keeping them both secure when you're not around. So my final thoughts on this rack is the blue highlighted features make it really easy to know what I need to press to use it, that it comes with the two locks, uh, keeping it safe and secure again when you're not around. Um, the tilt away feature so that you can get into your trunk and it's fold up features so that you have more storage room. And another really cool thing is the adaptability to hold more than one different style of bike. Um, right now, if I'm using a carbon frame style bike and my friends down the road talk me into getting an off-road bike, I can just use the same mount, no problem. So again, my name is Charles at eTrailer and thanks for watching. Here on our test course, we'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side-to-side -side action, which simulates turning corners or evasive maneuvers. Once we get to the alternating speed bumps, we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or a pothole or driving over uneven pavement. Now lastly, we're going over some full speed bumps. And we can see here the up and down action and this will just be like driving in and out of a parking lot, garage, or driveway.